We are delighted you have shown an interest in becoming a part of Scotland's cheerleading squad. In this video, we'll explain what qualities we're looking for in our cheerleaders, we'll fill you in on the game plan for tryout week, and break down this year's judging criteria. We'll also let you know what important documents you'll need to bring with you on the first day of tryout week. Scotland cheerleaders are crowd leaders, spirit raisers, ambassadors, athletes, and entertainers. Cheerleaders motivate the crowd and rally them to get on their feet and yell. They understand the sport they are cheering for and genuinely support the team. During games, cheerleaders use signs, palms, and megaphones with a combination of skills to communicate with spectators what were to yell and when to yell them. Spirit raising is taking the pride that cheerleaders have for their school and spreading it to their fellow students and community members. Whether it means making signs and encouraging their peers to attend the game or keeping the energy up during the game, cheerleaders are where the spirit begins. Being a school ambassador within the community is a key part of being a cheerleader. As one of the most visible student athletes, cheerleaders should be friendly, and set a good example for other students when they spread spirit. Cheerleaders represent Scotland in the truest fashion. Cheerleading requires strength, endurance, and technique to execute skills used in crowd leading. Stunts, jumps, and tumbling will be a huge focus for our squads this year. Cheerleaders should have a dedication to improving their skills throughout the year and during practice. When the crowd is entertained and enjoying the game, they are more likely to stand up and yell with the cheerleaders when they need it the most. This year, our cheerleaders are going to focus on using their crowd leading tactics and spirit to entertain the crowd on game day, especially during timeouts and halftime. We will use stunts, jumps, and tumbling as an essential part of our in-game entertainment. Tryout week will be held at Scotland High School from June 17th through the 21st from 9 o'clock a.m. to 12.30. The first three days of practice will prepare you for mock tryouts, which will take place on that Thursday, and official tryouts, which will happen on Friday. Eligible participants who are not able to attend tryouts in person may request permission to submit a video for judging. All video submission requests must be approved by Coach Jansen by June 17th. You should come to practice each day prepared to work hard. Hair should be securely pulled back and away from your face. Clothing should be comfortable and athletic. Cheerleading shoes or tennis shoes must be worn. For mock tryouts and official tryouts, class colors should be worn too. That means rising freshmen will need to wear black, rising sophomores will wear white, Juniors will be in blue, and seniors will be in red. Practices will focus on four rotations. On the first day of practice, you will be assigned to a stunt group. You will keep that same group all week and travel through each of the stations together each day of practice. You will be expected to perform a stunt with your group for official tryouts. You will also need to know a cheer, chant, and dance. You will have access to online video tutorials for the cheer, chant, and dance, so you will be able to practice at home. Tumbling is a requirement. This is the rubric the judges will use to score your tumbling ability. Points will be given for each skill you are able to demonstrate. If you are not able to tumble, a score of zero will be recorded. It's important for Scotland cheerleaders to be well-rounded. The judges will be looking for positive, upbeat personalities, good character, and integrity. In order to help showcase these important qualities during tryouts, two new categories have been added to the judges' scorecard. During the interview portion of tryouts, each participant will be asked a question and scored on their body language, ability to delineate thoughts, self-confidence, and social maturity. Scotland cheerleaders are required to engage in appropriate language, dress, 
actions, and conduct on social media sites, in shared videos, group chats, and text messages. There are absolutely no exceptions to this rule, and violations will not be tolerated. During tryouts, judges will review multiple social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Participants will receive scores based on their digital citizenship, pictures, comments, and online presence. No more than 24 members will be selected for the JV squad. It is for 9th and 10th grade students who are preparing their skills to make the varsity squad next year. JV cheerleaders must cheer for both football and basketball. No more than 18 10th through 12th grade students will be selected for the varsity squad. Varsity cheerleaders are not required to cheer for both seasons, although it is strongly encouraged. New squads will be announced immediately. After tryouts, the judges will share the results with the coaches and athletic director. Then, a poster will be made to display the numbers of the tryout participants who made the squad. The poster will be displayed near the high school's main entrance. Coaches will also contact each new cheerleader by phone to share the good news. A mandatory parent meeting for all new cheerleaders is scheduled for Monday, June 24th at 5 o'clock p.m. Coach Jansen should be notified in advance if your family is unable to attend. Summer practices will begin on July 8th at Scotland High School every Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. I'm excited to work with you during tryout week. Please remember to bring all required documents with you on the first day, including a valid physical and signed concussion statement, or you will not be allowed to participate. 